So welcome uh, again. This is the Panda of Pandemonium TV. Just wanted to say, hope everyone enjoys themselves tonight, uh, whether it's East Coast, West Coast, uh, over the seas, or uh, here in the Midwest. Hope you're all having a great day. And uh, let's get started with some gameplay today, okay? Uh, first off, the game of the day is going to be One Piece Pirate Warrior. Uh, I am extremely, extremely excited about this because, oh, one, I'm a huge One Piece fan. Huge One Piece fan. Uh, so with that, it's, uh, yeah, I think I have every one so far. Uh, I don't normally buy games on disc, but this is one of the series that I just, I have to have for my own personal collection, uh, as I move forward with everything. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let's see what this game has to offer. I am super, super, super excited. All right. Um, you know, some things you try, you have everything, you try to get everything in order before you jump on stream and it just does not always work the way you want it to. It's just, it just doesn't. So, uh, let's get in here. Where is my controller? Like I said, I literally just got this. I just started everything today. Uh, so some of this stuff, I may still have to go through some of the, oh, hey, we're gonna, you know, set up everything. Uh, one thing I wanna let you all know about, if you've never done this before, it is one of the most amazing things to do when you are gonna get a game or you know you plan on getting a game. When the system that you play on offers free stuff, free costumes, uh, free backgrounds, free tracks, free missions, episodes, things like that. Get them. Go ahead and pick them up before you ever buy the game. And that way when you get the game, you have them already on hand for you. So like I had maybe like 10 different backdrops and um, uh, what do they call them? Uh, uh, da -da 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 costumes for my characters here. So with that, it made it really, 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 really nice. Um, Cause it was just loading everything in as I was going. So let's see here, press square for normal attacks, triangle for strong charge attacks. Okay, duh. And what else? So where is this one gonna start? So we got the, the thousand sunny. Uh, for those of you who are anime heads and are, you know, uh, movie water, as we call them, uh, those fans of One Piece who are along this, this adventure for the long haul, uh, we all saw the Thousand Sunny there. Uh, see How many times do I have to say it? I'll be the one to defeat Kaido. Who are they talking to? Oh! We got Luffy and Kid. All right, I'm with it, I'm with it. The graphics are nice. I am definitely enjoying this. Out the gate with the Grizzly Magnum. I'm with it. Oh, so they're starting this arc in, the, in Wano. So if any of you guys have played the third one, uh, Power Warrior 3, they try to they try to stay with the more cartoony fields there, uh, the imagery and things like that. This one's got more of a grittier uh, art style feel to it. I am I'm enjoying this. Definitely enjoying this. Come on, I cannot let kid I can't let kid take over everything. It's not cool. Where do you go? Where do you, did he take off on me, dude? All right, let's go catch up. Ooh, target hit, target hit, target hit, and I'm, I'm, oh, hello everybody. So we can jump in this one, which is a game, something we could not do in the previous games, uh, unless it like allowed you to do it. So that is, that is great. I see here, press X to jump. You can also press X during the combos. I just square, da 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 to perform launching attacks. Okay. After jump or perform a launch attack, press square, da 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 for some aerial stuff. Maximum number of combos varies depending on the character and increases as they grow. I am with it. So do we do a Jet Gatling? 
Okay, I'm not cool with him coming and taking my people. Oh, did everybody see that? We have interaction with the with the actual world. Uh, the scenery, the trees are breaking, the barrels are breaking. So that's awesome. Oh, he just went jet gatling in the air. Some buildings obviously to be destroyed with attacks. All right, all right. You know what? I think I'm gonna do the uh, do our announcer voice on this one. Uh, let's see here. Some buildings and objects can be destroyed by attacks, causing destruction. Will cause damage to any enemies caught up in it, and items may appear from destroyed objects. Vodka fashion. What's up? How's it going this evening? Your attacks will propel downed or stunned enemies into the air. Uh, buildings and objects may also be destroyed by hitting enemies back into them. Once again, this is awesome. So basically, we can destroy any and everything in our path, which is something that Luffy would actually do. Um, again, this is a new new characteristic. If you played any of the other games, uh, Pirate Warrior 1, 2, 3, none of this was possible before. Uh, like I said, the grittiness of the artwork is a whole lot better feel. Um, oh, I think we missed it. We can do power dashes. Let's see here, perform power dash allows you to knock enemies back while moving. Hold it to travel the distance. Ooh, that's the rocket dash. I like it. I like it. Uh, power dash can be used in many situations for movement. Blah, blah, blah. It will consume stamina, though. So let's see what we can do here. See if this will allow us to actually do anything uh, nifty. Oh, that was dash. Okay. I think that was pretty nifty. I am completely okay with that. Because that allows you to cover a lot of ground really, really quickly. I like it. I like it. I'm a huge fan. Huge, 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 huge fan of that attack and that ability there. Um, ooh, can we just run into the building? Chip away at the building. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go back to, let's get back on task, back on task here. And around, around, around we go. Where do we stop? Nobody knows. This right here is a, the epitome of the world of pandemonium. I promise you, like, this is awesome. Let's see here. Armor gauge can be reduced. Strong people have armor gauges. Basically break the armor gauge and knock them out. We can lock on and change our targets with the R3 button, which is great. Now, I personally don't like locking on to people, especially when you have games like this. You have a bunch of different individuals coming at you, these like wide landscape games, because when you lock on to somebody, it ruins any and everything else that could possibly come up. And I don't want to miss any of that. Like, I don't like being surrounded. See how three of them came out like that? No, 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 no. I missed it. I missed it. Let's go back. Okay, here we go. Got all three of them. Did we get them? Did we get them? Did we get them? We got them. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. And of course, Big Mom. Okay, so for those of you who don't know One Piece, this is Big Mom. She is one of the uh, four emperors of the sea. And she is a, um, I believe the kids call them a beast these days. She is definitely what you would consider a beast. Okay, so hold R1 for special moves. And all right, let's do some special attacks here. We have gauges. Ooh, I like it. And what, how, what would you consider this type of game style genre wise? Cinnabons, what's up? Thanks for jumping in. Uh, don't, don't just peek, join, carry on, jump in the conversation. Uh, this game, Vodka, it's open world, but it's not really open world as far as the, the game style goes. Um, I would put it more, I think of it more as a hack and slash, to be honest. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Dynasty Warriors. If anyone's familiar with that, it's an older, older game, Samurai. You had the entirety of the armies of, you know, Southern Japan, Southern China, I mean, coming after you. And you would, at that point in time, go out on your faithful steed with your one or two weapons and literally destroy hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of individuals in a much similar fashion. Um, only you would have 
like a spear or a samurai sword, um, a bow, what do they call them, a, um, not the bow staff, the staff, not the, like a spear is the best way to do it? What the heck was that? Did I just jump a bunch of people in the air for no reason? Ooh, got the tornado. Sorry, I'm getting really sidetracked and I apologize for that, Vodka. Um, but yeah, I would put it as a hack and slash, honestly. Um, a highly animated hack and slash. Because it's almost the same as God of War. Just not as many, God of War doesn't have as many foes usually at one point in time. It can be a little confusing if you're not used to focusing on certain individuals within a, within a game. Um, if you're a type of person who likes uh, Sekiro or Neo, where you kind of have your one-on-one -on -one battles and most of your large battles are done during groups, um, like you know, large group scenes, cut scenes and things like that, this probably is not gonna be for you. Um, neither would Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. Uh, if you kind of like that the more realistic battle scene, I personally, some days you just need to be able to um, <laughs> as, as, as uh, you say, a Mulan, you know, cook stuff, grill, cook outdoors, oh, you know, man, man stuff, no. you know, Sorry you <laughs> have to jokingly, see that. but seriously, but you know how it uh, is you sometimes them. you just need to be able to wild out and just beat somebody up on the game and something. it makes you feel better about your day. Um, that's just me personally. Sometimes you just need, you just need those things. So, so your giant enemies have armor gauges that are reduced by certain attacks, yada yada. And this is, um, this is my first time playing this. So I do enjoy looking at, don't laugh at me, not funny, not funny at all. Um, I, do, I do enjoy looking for the similarity between, especially anime games and the anime that uh, as it is, as a, uh, you know, as a show or as a, a medium for art. Uh, so I like to see that the continuation is there. Uh, certain attacks, for example, that Luffy does, uh, all of these are crucial to the arc that they're playing for on this this particular part of the game. Uh, so I think that that mixed with the grittier artwork, and I will continue to say it, it is, oh man, it is so much of a difference. Excuse me, between this game and the one before it, like just the one right before it. The super ability, the ability to do these super, super attacks and stuff like that were never in, they're not in the first one. You have to like pull off combo after combo after combo, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, enemies, come on, come on, come on, come on. Giant, do I get to go? No, that was just the balloon, man. I wanna go, but I feel like I missed something here while I was talking. Did I miss something? I gotta go gear two, I wanna go gear two. Darn it. I see a gauge in the corner and I cannot remember what the gauge was. Oh, it was for, for that stamina. Gotcha. She got her chest people out here. So back to Big Mom. She is, what happened to the four emperors? I still the seeds come to feed you. Kid, kid, okay. I'm, I'm, I feel that anyone who's playing this game probably already knows what happens to kid. So I'm, I'm not gonna say this is a spoiler. So if you, if you haven't seen that part yet, I need you to cover your ears. Um, kid is pretty lame. I'm sorry. Anybody who is a, oh, Kaido, great, lovely, wonderful. That's fun. Sorry for the inconvenience of that, the middle of that conversation there, but this is the other one of the four emperors. Eh, <laughs> fun. Why do y'all gotta come at me at once, yo? Like, that's not even cool. That's not cool. I ain't got my crew with me. Nothing. Nothing. Dude just wanna come like like it's all like yeah, it's not it's not fair. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the show. If you've seen the show up to this point, to the Wano arc, and you've seen or know who this person is. Yes. Oh, where is it? Mamba. This is when you lock onto somebody. When you start getting attacks that are super fast, that's the only time I ever lock. Why do I have the Mamba Strike? Now I'm mad because I don't even know how I pulled that off. Now I gotta go look at my look at my uh, instructions and stuff. I do know. Oh shoot! And I'm itty bitty. Wait, I ain't seen it yet. Up. Oh, you ain't for real, for real. You ain't seen it yet. 
So do you really plan on watching it? Let's just be real, Vodka. Because you got like 999 episodes to get to where this party is. I'm just saying. I still am intrigued on how they came up with the fact that they are called the worst generation. Uh, Luffy and his compatriots uh, that are around his age, um, they're considered the worst generation because they came after the assassination of the Pirate King. Like they grew up, they were kids when, when he died type deal. I still don't know why they call him the worst generation. Like, <laughs> look. Don't start none, won't be none. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. They say the dying words of Gold Roger. Once the king of pirates made countless men and women take to the seas. Yeah, I mean, it really did, though. Pirates across the world set sail in search of Gold Roger's lost treasure, said to lie at the end of the Grand Line. Adventures chasing their dreams across the high seas, it truly was the beginning of the greatest era of piracy. That wasn't my best one, but you know, I'll try, I'll try. All right. Now, the characters, though, they do bring a lot of the characters like the character designs back from the old game. So I think that that was good uh, to kind of keep some consistency. Like those uh, those pirates that got in the background there are people who you normally would be fighting. Especially that one dude with the mustache is bald. You see him a lot in the other games. How could you have that could rival this ship and find a great... Yeah, okay, so also the guy right there, redheaded guy he's talking to, that is Shanks. For those who you know don't know, that's one of the, that's the third uh, emperor of the sea that's three out of four three to big four and he happens to be you know best friends with this one so it's a uh, it's a very good one thing about anime in general and this is something that uh, we talk about on my channel as well when i do uh, reviews of anime and things by the way panda pandemonium on youtube check us out on facebook check us out twitter as well um all my stuff is on my Twitch channel. Feel free to jump in and add. Uh, add yourself. Join the community. The Wilderness of Pandemonium welcomes all who search for fun, anime, overall nerdiness, and a good time. Okay, so check it out. Uh, also on my Patreon as well. Uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Every anime has something you can learn from it. Uh, there are emotional moments. Uh, there are times where you feel that they are a part of your family as you go through. It's just like any other show that you watch. People, you know, you, you build emotional ties and connections with these characters. And when, when you do that, uh, you allow yourself to, to feel, you allow yourself to enjoy and you become immersed in, in the storyline itself. Don't, not just looking at it for, you know, oh, it's a cartoon. It's a, you know, a cartoonish uh, animation or things of that nature. Anything you and everything you do, and I will say this, and I say this all the time, any and everything you do, you should have fun with it. That is the motto of the Wilds of Pandemonium. Everything you do should be a learning experience, even when you're having fun. And sometimes the, the learning experience is just that you need to have fun, period. Sometimes that's the case. Uh, let's see here. Online play. While online is displayed top screen, the online play function is accessible. Select so find a player. You can create a scheduled session using your preferred settings and your pre-battle screen. Schedule session automatically create the sessions. Oh, nice. And we can join to find users. Well, we will definitely have to do that one day. Today is not that day. Uh, I'm enjoying my game today since I just got it. I just literally right before we jumped on today, I unboxed and unwrapped the game. So I'm super, super stupid excited um, to kind of run through here and, <clears throat> excuse me, break my panda foot off in some hind quarters. So, I'm um, definitely excited about this. Ooh, Alabasta, they took it back. Let's see here. Oh, it's just the first one. I thought, I thought it was gonna give me the option. Uh, I'll go to the one. 
モンキー・ディ・ルフィ、幼い子に出会った時代の海賊、赤髪のシャンクスとの約束を持ちつつ、一人海に出会った時代の海賊王になるという夢を持ちつつ、海賊王になるという夢を持ちつつ、海賊王になるという夢を持ちつつ、海賊王になるという夢を持ちつつ、海賊王になるという夢を持ちつつ、海賊王になるという夢を持ちつつ、海賊王になるという夢を持ちつつ、海賊王になる Let's see here. Nami joining the crew. Let me get some water here. Ruffy, t o u c h i n g a m e t a s c o t o Kimetanoa. Sekaiju no Kaizok touching a Shinogi or Kezuru, Grand Rai. Sono Hateniva. Katsteno, Kaizoko, Gold Roger, and Nokosta to Yareru. One piece of Aruto Sare. Kazkaz no Nakamata Tomoni. Oh, so, yeah. All right, so they beat Arlong. Ah, so they're just kind of going through <clears throat> and skipping some of the main parts here.、Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me.、Mm. Sorry. So, for anybody who's in there right now,、um, any questions about anything about the, the show that you want to answer or anything that's, that's jumping out to you, feel free to throw it in, throw it in the chat.、Uh, let me know what you're thinking about、uh, the, the, an the animation, the. The imagery,、uh, the game itself so far, what you think of the gameplay,、uh, how, do you think it, how do you think it looks, it come, comes across,、um, or any questions about you know, characters or anything like that, feel free to throw them in the chat and I'll make sure we get those answered as we go.、Um, let's see here. Ooh, they are declaring their dreams before setting off to the own. Yeah, each one of that is one of the good things about this show. Everybody has their own dream. Like, it's not like we're all just following one dude blindly. Everybody got their own dream that they're trying to do right now. You know, Usopp is trying to become the greatest sniper in the world. Sanji's trying to become the greatest cook.、Uh, I find the All Blue, which is、uh, with their world, all four of the different oceans. They intersect in one spot, and only certain fish live in one of the four different types of oceans. So, finding this one area is the only place to find every type of sea creature in the world. So for Sanji, that's his thing.、Uh, oh, we got Chopper? Chopper, Tony, Tony, Chopper. He is awesome. My little, my little Tanuki, my little ranger friend. That everyone calls a raccoon. I mean, he does look like a raccoon, just to be honest. Just to be honest, he, he does kind of look like a. He could be mistaken for a, a, a horned raccoon, for so to speak.、Uh, especially as a plushie. Nami's trying to be the greatest、uh, navigator and map the entire world. Ooh, well, Zoro's trying to be the greatest swordsman across the world. He actually already got beat by the greatest swordsman, so yeah, he, he's got a grind,、uh, axe to grind against him. Ooh, Luffy, I like the background, I like the setup. Zoro. Sanji is definitely a speed type. A man's. Is a beast with the footwork. He does not fight with his hands. His hands are for cooking only. So he does not fight with his hands. Fights strictly with his feet. I wouldn't be surprised though if he has steel toe boots on. I'm not gonna lie. I would not be surprised. Alright, let's go with uh. Well, we played with the captain already. So that part's there. Let's try first mate Zoro. Let's see what Zoro got. Oh, shoot. I should have changed the costume. I told you I had the extra, extra costumes and stuff. If we get to another round where there's another area like that, I'll switch the costume up so we can see what some of those other costumes I got look like from、uh, when I had it from free. Probably about a.、Uh, it's been about six months now. Six, seven months now I've had those just sitting there. Just his feet. Yes, just his feet. He only fights with his feet. The man's hands are in his pocket 90% of the time. Seriously. With a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. It, he, he, he gets down. No, no lies. It's Crocodile Alabasta's hero.、Uh, Vivi. Another thing about this show my man Luffy pulls every princess he, he meets and don't even want them. Like, he don't even be realizing it. I think he, I, I don't think he's that oblivious. I think he realizes and just act like he don't, don't realize it. But I'm just saying. <clears throat> As Crocodile is one of the seven warlords of the sea, basically he's a world government official recognized. 
pirate eye yeah the seven more lords of the sea so the government has decided to say okay well since we can't wrap all the pirates up we're gonna hire seven of them that are stronger than everybody else and let them do it to help us out anytime we get a chance but they're still pirates and they still do wrong it's like the government saying okay here while bill you are now sheriff yeah we know you're robbing people but just don't rob as much rob us as often it's the same principle Sanji is also the ladies' man, so I mean, he, my boy always is. In, he's always, always suited, always suited and booted. He's ready to go. If we can stop that from happening. We drive out BW. Who's BW again? Who's BW again? Might be able to save Alabasta. I think that was uh, I forget the name of the called. I forget the name of the group. Well, they're here in Alabasta, so we'll figure it out here in a second. Got it. Where is Luffy? Because Luffy's always dipping out randomly on his phone because he smelled food. Let me guess. Zoro has the most horrible sense of direction. Luffy usually runs off when he smells food. See? Told you. Food. Every time. Anytime Luffy's gone, it's because of food. He's like, uh, what's his name? Goku when it comes to food there actually was a crossover anime uh, if anybody's interested in trying to look it up it's a crossover episode with Luffy Goku and Toriko who are all three big gluttonous eaters so yeah definitely something to check out they had, they had a really good nice little fight there moving forward and we got Smoker here what is Smoker doing? You come here after all. The smoke that day, it was you? What are you doing here, man? Just a little further and you wouldn't have made it out of Road Town. This is the end of the line. Really, man? Look, I'm just trying to eat. That's all I really want is eat. Can, can we do that? Please? Thank you. Gotta make a run for it. Now I gotta, really? I can't even fight. I gotta run? And of course, Toshigi comes out of nowhere. Now, Smoker is another. He's he's the uh, he's another Devil Fruit user. For those who don't know, Devil Fruit is how people you know get their powers on this show. They eat a Devil Fruit. Devil Fruit gives them a certain ability. However, in exchange, they cannot swim. Seawater, salt water, uh, basically can kill them. Makes them lethargic. And if they happen to go in, they will drown. Drown. So, all bad. Um, he's got the smoke. I forget the name of the, the fruit, though. But he basically, his ability is to... He he can turn into clouds of smoke. Um, and move and, you know, re reappear, reapparate. Things of that nature. Why are you trying to take the brother's sword? I, if I'm not mistaken, Tashiki has something to do with his past, with Zoro's past, um, related to the girl or something like that. He was, she was trying to get his, get, she was trying to get Zoro's sword from him, but the sword that he got is from the chick who he grew up fighting with back in day one type stuff. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of storyline. So if you don't know, jump in because there's a lot, there's a whole lot. Everybody's talking about, oh, it's fillers and blah, blah, blah. Every show has fillers almost every show has fillers uh actually there are quite a few that do not um when i do my reviews that's actually i got a couple coming up that literally have no fillers whatsoever um so stay tuned for that again on the youtube channel uh the release will be every i think the next release will be wednesday of next week uh so just kind of keep an eye out for that as they come through uh but yeah the next couple of shows that i'm going to be reviewing they have no fillers whatsoever. Sunflare. Ace is the man. I'm sorry. I'm sad that they killed him off like that. But Ace is the man. Oh, I guess that was a spoiler. Yeah, seriously. If you haven't, if you haven't watched up until that point, I, yeah, I apologize. But yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't apologize for that, that particular spoiler there. Uh, let's see here. You may be smoke, but I'm flames. There'll be no winner in this fight. No winner! Second Division Commander. Oh yeah, that's also Luffy's brother. So, fun times. 
not by blood, but you know, sometimes you don't need to be blood to be family, to be strong. So, for the bond to be strong, I'm sure many many of you, I'm sure, know that. So, but this is this is his older brother. Fire Fist Ace. He also has a, uh, a Logia fruit. If I'm not mistaken, it's a Logia type devil fruit. There's like different types of devil fruits. A Zoan type turns you into an animal or animal to human, uh, which is a Chopper's situation. He was a reindeer that ate a Zoan fruit, which turned him part human. Uh, Logia fruits, if I'm not mistaken, they are usually elemental in nature. Uh, for example, uh, what's the other one? Fire or light or smoke, things like that. So, I saw something pop up on the screen, Vodka. I don't know what you just did, but right on. <laughs> Sorry, I was in the middle of talking and stuff, and I saw it pop up on the screen. So, okay, so we got to kill all of them and give Smoker a beating. Give Smoker a beating. I can do that. I can definitely. Well, I can attempt to do that. We'll put it that way. Uh, let's see here. Siege broken. Growth map. What's the growth map? Ooh, it's how we level up. All right. So characters can grow using maps. By reaching an island using necessary coins and berries, you can raise the character's stats. Now, this is normal. This is similar to the other games. If you've ever played the uh, first three, this is really similar to the to those. Um, parameters basically as you win you get coins and you use those coins for example like the little Dindin Mushi which is the snail down at the bottom that you see there on the corner uh, the life snail um, once you get coins that look like that you add them to the characters and it levels up the character it's really cool because then you can kind of level people up as you see fit uh, you may you know, put everything into one person may put them into everybody it just depends on how you want to play the game uh, what characters you plan on using at some point so so right now I have zero coins because I really ain't done nothing yet. So we're going to kind of just dip out for a minute. We got, let's see here, what are these special moves? Oh, these are my my little buttons on the side that they gave us. Awesome, awesome. Skill set, change the background. Yeah, we're going to leave it alone for now. I am going to... Oh, let's back out. Nope, we're trying to episode selection. No. Oh, fine. You shall set sail. All right. Ooh. Nice. Oh, we got smoker already here. It is no problem. Well, thank you, milady. It is greatly appreciated. Ah, he is a logia. See, logia techniques. Um, let's see here. Character activates the ability, change the performance. Normal attacks cannot deal any damage. By putting the enemy in an armor break state, you will be able to cause damage to them directly. All right, so let's see what the heck they're talking about here. Cause we still got Luffy with us, and I just cut the crap out of him. That that probably hurt just a tad bit. Oh, that's what they meant. Cause I can't do anything to this dude without actually. Like, look at this man. Like, seriously, he's just a puff of smoke. He's a puff of smoke, and still cutting me like. I don't like him. I really don't like him right now. He he's not power up type. Okay, so we're both power types right now. Type of strength. Get that. Come on. Let me fight. Let me fight. So, smoker. I'm gonna tell you all this right now. You, for those who care to know, you probably already know. If you know the show, the show at all, you you know. But for those who don't, um, smoker. As I was telling you earlier, anybody who uses a devil fruit power has no longer has the ability to read uh, to swim they cannot swim Zoro is just a regular human who is a happens to be a beast of a swordsman awesome. um, he's a beast of a swordsman however smoker like I said he he has the that fruit power uh, the thing with that is the stick on his back and I'll try to zoom, swing back around behind him oh where'd he go where'd he go there he is. Okay, see that big stick on his back? Right there? Right right on his back there? That big stick is a it's, uh, made out of sea stone, which is basically, what, petrified sea, sea water? Basically, they made a stick out of seawater. Um, 
So it's got all the nutrients and minerals and sea salt and stuff that people who have the devil for powers can't uh, can't be touched by. So for him, he did a very he made a very very good weapon um, that he can only touch because he wears gloves, which doesn't you know help anybody who's fighting because most of the people that he hunts are devil fruit users. It's kind of kind of a great weapon. Just saying. Territories. So as you all can see, we've got the big block of area here. Nice. Oh, that was a nice big AOE. I am completely enthralled with that. Cause, okay, so my guy Zoro is literally, he's first mate of, of the crew, right? They did him so dirty in the last game to where my man's ability to to fight was limited to like three attacks, if that. Um, so the fact that they gave him the full range of motion now, and this ability to jump is epic. You have no idea. Ooh, look, at Chopper. Look at look at my man go. Look at look at him go. Now, no, it doesn't look like he did any damage with that. But what he does is he throws those little bubbles out, and by doing that, it allows everyone else to get critical hits better. So, as silly as he may look, he is the greatest support character in the game. Well, one of the greatest support characters in this game. Did he just punch me? Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. He, he looked like he was trying to, you know. He looked like he wanted the smoke, Luffy. I don't think he wants the smoke. Does he not know that pandas live in the mountains? We got all the smoke. All of it. What's Ace about to do? Oh, blow a hole in the wall. Okay, well, that works. I'm completely okay with blowing holes in the wall. Um, I would have wanted to cut the wall down personally, but you know, hey, I take that as a. You know, I'll take that. I'll take that. So kill this last little group here. Dash across. And, oh, they said, hey, we're here. Everybody is here. Let's see if we can kill these guys. There we go. 100, is it 100 pound Phoenix? 1,000 pound Phoenix, I think is what he calls it. And run, 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 run. There we go. Very well done. Very well done. All right. Let's see what we got here, people. Wild desert. Let's see. Here we go. Center, left or right. Center, or left or right. Center, or left or right. I'm gonna go. Looking at the number of people on the map. I'm gonna go. Is that right? We're gonna go right. We're gonna go right. Quicksand zone. Oh no, we are not doing that. We're not dealing with that. Ooh, special ability. Power up. Super power is activated. Oh. All right. I still like this whole like wall breaking effect that they added to this. It gives it gives the game another level of uh, of awesome. And who's dying? Cause somebody they said somebody was about to die. Submissions have the little green arrows. <laughs> you could earn berries if you complete submissions. All right, we are going to complete submissions. But who on my team was about to die? Now I gotta run around here and figure out who was about to die. That's a lot of people. That's a whole lot of people. That's a whole lot of people. Okay, well, since I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut y'all off to pieces. And then I'm gonna run. Go, 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 go. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder if High Rewards will play like this. You know, that is a very good question. Um, High Rewards, I don't think it's gonna be like this, honestly. Ooh, did I get him? Yes, I saved him. Good. Um, I don't think it's gonna be like this. I think it'll be more. Oh, I don't know. Like Zelda-ish? 
I just I just don't foresee it being this many like them throwing this many people at you at once. I don't. Um, because this is like like I said, the only way they're gonna do that if they do like a God of War situation, where you have these mass AOE attacks and you can just you can just run rampant. I don't see that Hyrule game doing that. I just don't. Um, there's a lot from what I can see. It looks like one of those games that you actually gonna have to like switch between between attacks and between not between attacks between um switch between weapons. So like weapons breaking and stuff like that. It's, it looks like it's one of those type that is gonna end up being like that. And if that's the case, to do to do a, a game where your weapons are breaking in this scenario, by the time you killed one batch of people, literally your weapons broke. So you would have to constantly be on the lookout for for new weapons and stuff. Like it would not even be, like I said, unless they do a God of War style where you're, you're constantly picking up new, you know, new abilities and new, new weaponry and stuff like that. I don't, I just don't see it. Why are all y'all hiding in this broken down ship? Like stop jumping out the ship. And wait, you're oh, great. We got to see you. Where did she go? She's over here with Sanji. Dude, first off, bro, with your puppy fro, you need to get off your high horse. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see how we do weapons breaking this game. Weapons do not break in this game. Yo, family, don't come at me with no swords. Like, you don't want this smoke. You know, weapons do not break. They have their weapon. It is their weapon of choice. Um, there is no... The only thing you're upgrading here, really, is the their strengths. Their strengths, uh, you will gain more attacks as you go. Uh, so, for example, I know with the third game, second and third game, and first and two for this series, um, you start off with their base attacks. That's it. With this game, because it's farther in the farther in the uh, the arcs, since it's reflecting farther in the arc, they have certain a certain set of stop moves that are related to where they are on the show. So it's a little bit different with this one, I think. But no, there's no breaking of the weaponry in this game. Yeah. Just like God of War, you don't break it. Your weapons don't break. Now, God of War, you do lose your weapons 20 million different times because the God takes them here and then somebody else takes something over there and then you got to recreate all them, refine all your weapons by getting new weapons from somebody else. And you know, but that stuff transpires with God of War. Uh, with this one, because the show is the show, you don't change, they don't change their weapons uh, at all. So, Now in the, in the show that they they made upgrade a weapon too. Like I think his blade switched three times since the series started. Um, he gained. I say yeah, he gained one of them because one of them broke. He got the the black blade, which ended up being a yeah. He got a black blade in Zomb uh, Zombie Park. He got the, he still has his, his best friend's blade. So that right there, that's that. Let me go see who's back here. Why are we having an issue back here with these people? I'm gonna need y'all to figure this out, people. Come on. But yeah, um, so he lost one sword there. He, he kept the main sword, which is like his pride and joy because it was a, an heirloom from his friend. So that's taken care of. And then, I believe he learned how to coat the third blade with black hockey, um, which is hockey is uh, the ability to uh, put your aura around in your body or in a, or an inanimate object or animate object, um, putting it around it externally to use as a hardening uh, device, allowing you to uh, fight or you know receive more damage or deal more damage. As time went on, so that is what Hoppy is. 
What are you? Where is everybody at? Hey, there they are. They're down here. Fighting airborne enemies like him because he's a pain when he turns into smoke and starts flying everywhere. So let's get into the thick of it, shall we? We're gonna use a super move. You use it in the middle of everybody. That way you can kill as many people as possible. As many as possible. Come on back here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Even being scared. I don't know why. I for art though.